What's the difference between the 360 ceiling cassette and the four-way ceiling cassette? If you wanna learn more about ceiling cassettes, today I'm gonna to be talking about these ductless indoor air handlers for mini split systems. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash homeowners. I'm Tad, let's get started. Let's take a look at the four-way cassette first, look at the features, the design, and then we're gonna look at that 360 cassette next. The four-way cassette is a square. This is a mini cassette, and you can get these mini cassettes in different sizes. Here are the sizes for the mini cassette. You can get 9,000 BTU, 12,000 BTU, and 18,000 BTU. And this mini cassette has a body measurement of 24 inches by 24 inches. Here is the submittal for that mini four-way cassette. You can get this on samsunghvacdownloads.com and you can go to technical documents. And you can see right here are the dimensions for the actual indoor unit. So it's 22 and 5 8 by 22 and 5 8 and it's about nine inches in depth. So nine and 13 16 Now the larger cassettes, uh, not the mini cassettes, they are 33 inches by 33 inches. So if you're looking to frame this out, the mini cassettes are about 24 by 24. So the larger cassettes are 33 by 33. The larger four-way ceiling cassettes come anywhere from 18,000 BTU, which is one and a half ton, to 24, which is two tons, 30, two and a half tons, 36, three ton, three and a half ton, which is 42, and then 48, which is four ton. So these are the larger. Now let's look at the size. Here is a submittal for the regular four-way ceiling cassette, not the mini. And under dimensions for the indoor unit, I said it was 33 by 33, and look, 33 and 1 16th by 33 and 1 16th. And this one is about 11 inches in depth. You can see that there are four brackets uh, for hanging this unit. You have to use all four. There's one on each corner, and you can see this one's mounted using all thread and unistrut and you've got a washer and a nut there for that all thread as far as maintenance you've got tabs right here one here and one here you take this down and then you've got these two tabs where you can release the filter it's a permanent filter and it's washable so you can wash it to maintain it once you lower this panel with the filter up here you've got your uh, control box. This is where your wiring comes in, your communication, and your uh, line voltage from your outdoor unit powering this indoor unit. Then you've got your fan up here, and then surrounding that fan, you've got an indoor coil that sits in a condensate pan. If you wanted to take the fascia panel off of this unit, then you would just take and pop out the four corners. There are four bolts. You can see that with a Phillips screwdriver, you can take that bolt out and then you can lower the fascia panel. And the reason you wanna lower the fascia panel is if you needed to take and clean the condensate pump assembly or the drain that comes from the condensate pump or you wanted to do some maintenance on the coil or the pan. Now you can see this is where the drain is located. The four-way ceiling cassette has a built-in condensate pump and it has quite a lift. I'm pretty sure it's a 29-inch lift and then we've got our wiring right here, communication cable and line voltage wiring, and then our copper right there. So we've got our flare connections. Installing the four-way ceiling cassette in your ceiling, what do you need to know? First thing you need to know is you need to have an access next to that four-way ceiling cassette or somewhere where you can get above the ceiling and get to the unit. Why? Let me show you. To be able to replace an indoor coil on a four-way cassette, you would have to access these flare connections and you can only access those flare connections above the ceiling so if you ever have a leaking indoor coil and you have to replace it you have to access those fittings and that's why you need to have a way to access above the ceiling to get to those connections this is the bottom of the four-way ceiling cassette right here see that and that right there needs to mount flush with your ceiling and the reason it needs to mount flush with your ceiling or the bottom of your sheetrock or the bottom of your trim is because whenever you go to put this fascia panel on afterward, whenever you pull it up 
to the body of that four-way cassette, it won't be flush unless this right here is flush with the bottom of your ceiling. You can also download the installation manual and I wanted to show you this right here. If you install the cassette type indoor unit on the ceiling when temperature is over 80 degrees and humidity is over 80 percent you must apply an extra layer of thick polyethylene insulation or similar type of insulation to the body of the indoor unit. And that's so that this right here, this body that's up above the ceiling, doesn't sweat. Now, ha have I ever had to do this? No. Uh, but I've put a lot of these in foam insulated houses where, you know, it's insulated with foam. So the temperature of the attic is the same temperature as the room. And this is the installation manual. You can get a lot of good information right here. And you can even see that place the pattern sheet on the ceiling at the spot where you want to install the indoor unit. So you've got that pattern sheet there. You can take it and use it as a template. This is a regular four-way cassette, mini cassette. This is a wind-free cassette. The difference is all of the micro holes. Want to reiterate the difference between the mini cassettes is the size, 24 inches by 24 inches. So if you had to frame it out, that's what you're looking at. And then the larger regular cassettes are 33 inches by 33 inches. You can order the fascia panel the color white or the color black, and it's square only. So the 24 by 24 mini cassettes will sit in a drop ceiling. Notice where the copper, the wiring, and the drain are located on the four-way cassette. Now looking at the 360 cassette, you can see that the drain is on the opposite side of the copper connections and the wiring. And you can also notice that this is a 360 cassette. So like the four-way cassette, your air for your return, it pulls into the middle. And then the supply duct air, the supply air, comes out all the way around the 360 cassette, and that's why they call it the 360 cassette. The four-way, it blows around all four sides, but the 360 blows all the way around. Now I'm gonna show you how to access the filter. Put your fingers into the grill, turn it, and then it just drops right down. Now here's the filter for that 360 ceiling cassette, and you can see it's circular, and you've got a couple tabs, and it pops right out. It's washable, it's permanent, and if you look up, same thing as the four-way cassette, we've got that fan right there in the middle. This one's a little bit different. We've got access to our uh, wiring and our control box by taking this Phillips screw right here off, and then we can take and put our finger in here and pop this out, and then we're able to get to our controls. Built-in condensate pump, just like the four-way ceiling cassette, it's got a 29-inch lift and you install this the same way as the four-way cassette. You've got your four corners that have those four brackets and you can use all thread and unistrut to hang this equipment properly. Easy. Options for the fascia panel for that 360 ceiling cassette, you can order the fascia panel to be square or to be round, you can do black or white, or you have the option to have it 3D printed, whatever graphic design you need. Just like the four-way ceiling cassette, if you plan on installing this in your ceiling, the 360 ceiling cassette, you need to have access above the ceiling to get to those copper connections, just in case you have an indoor coil that has to be replaced. If you'll notice, there is a knockout right here on this four-way ceiling cassette body. This would be above the ceiling, and that is a three-inch knockout, and that's where you can add fresh air. Say you have a foam-insulated home, and you need fresh air, and that's important. Maybe you have a lot of gas appliances, and you need that fresh air. This is a place where you can add about 5% of fresh air for the 360 ceiling cassette and for the four-way ceiling cassette. 
this 360 ceiling cassette right here is installed with this outdoor unit right here behind me and this is a single zone system and your 360 ceiling cassettes can be used for residential, can be used for commercial, light commercial applications. I've used the 360 ceiling cassette for restaurants, for wedding venues, for uh, conference rooms and meeting rooms in different uh, factories. So that's the application there. For the mini four-way ceiling cassette, this one actually is hooked up to a multi-zone unit. You can see that is a free joint multi outdoor unit. I'll give you a better view so you can take a look. There's several indoor units that are hooked to this outdoor unit right here. See this outdoor unit? It's got three different indoor units hooked to it. It has a mini four way ceiling cassette, a ducted pancake style slim duct air handler, and then it also has the near the floor wall mounted console unit this is a console unit right here very nice for the four-way mini cassette or the four-way cassette and the 360 ceiling cassette you can have a wired controller like this on the wall or you can have a wireless remote controller we're going to take a look at the 360 cassette and i'm going to show you some of the features i really like now let's take a look at this wireless controller i'll show you what i like about it the first thing i like is the icon here and the reason i like that is because unlike the four-way you have different airflow patterns right look at this when you hit the airflow button you can throw the air wide you can swing so back and forth spot so straight down or mid now watch when i change from the wide mode to the swing see how it goes back and forth then to the spot and then yeah spot and then mid see that is that not awesome? I like that. Also, you can set different zones. Say you have three or four of these uh, 360 ceiling cassettes. You can actually set, go into options, and then you can have four different zones. Look at that, four different zones. Awesome, I love it. Here's the submittal for that wireless remote controller used to control the 360 cassette and you can control up to four indoor units with this wireless remote controller and that's what I mean by having four zones and right here your little wheel you can hit temperature and then you can scroll up or scroll down uh, you can hit um, fan speed and go auto or you can change the fan speed to go all the way up to the highest really nice I like this all right power it off Boop, 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 boop. Now for the four-way mini cassette, we're using a wired controller. And we can turn the power on by pushing this button. We can change the mode, go to heating, go to auto mode where it controls heating and cooling. Go to cool, go to dry mode, which is just cool mode, but helps to get rid of some of that extra condensation or humidity in the house, or just fan. Four-way ceiling cassette. All right, let's take all of these blades here and uh, we're gonna make all of them swing. See that? Up and down. Here's the submittal for the 360 ceiling cassettes and they are bigger than the four-way ceiling cassettes. So don't assume they're the same size. Look at the indoor unit dimensions here. This is 37 and a quarter by 37 and a quarter, and it is 14 and 3 eighths in depth. So 14 and 3 eighths in depth, and then 37 and a quarter by 37 and a quarter. This is a 10 ton, three phase, 230 volt model. If you've got a commercial project and you need a lot of different air handlers, and you're looking to go VRF, there are ducted, there are many four ways, there are one way cassettes, high ceiling units, all connected to this heat pump, variable capacity, DVM Samsung outdoor unit. It's pretty cool. Sizes for the 360 ceiling cassette, it comes in one and a half ton, two ton, two and a half ton, three ton, three and a half ton, four ton.
Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, let me know what it was in the comments. If you need more help learning more about mini splits, I'm going to put a couple videos down below for you so you can check out some of my projects. If you want a video just on sizing mini splits, you need help sizing. I've got a video called Mini Split Sizing on my playlist, my members only playlist. If you want to view that, you have to become a level three member. It's super easy. Just click the join button, become a level three member. Let me know in the comments too if you do join. I'm going to send you a copy of my mini split sizing guide. If you don't have any questions, let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.